Marjorie, many upsetting and tragic scenes around the city of St. Louis last night into this morning. Let's look at several of them, including one that authorities are calling a homicide. That going down at Lee's Pawn and Jewelry on Dr. Martin Luther King near Sarah in North City. Police getting that call shortly after 2.30 this morning. We are told when officers got there, they found a man shot and killed just outside of that business. A police officer on the scene telling us that the victim may have been a worker at the store, but we are still trying to confirm that this morning. Authorities do tell us that in addition to the killing, the store there was also looted. At Dr. Martin Luther King in North Spring near Cass, a family dollar store went up in flames. Fire crews rushing there around 3.15 this morning after firefighters drove past the building and saw it on fire as they were returning from another fire call. Flames shooting through the roof as crews tried to fight the fire. A fire department spokesperson at the scene saying that gunshots could be heard in the area as crews were trying to put out those flames, we understand the store there may have been looted as well. Looters broke into a 7-Eleven store around 9 o'clock last night on North 17th at Pine Street in downtown St. Louis. They threw fireworks into the building leading to the fire. Firefighters saying they were actually delayed in responding to that scene until police were able to get the location secured. We believe the fire rekindled there at least two more times around one this morning, then again a little after three o'clock this morning. And Bomberito Automotive Sky Fox also spotted more looters around 10 o'clock last night. They were at the Fresh Image Clothing Store downtown on Tucker Boulevard at Convention Plaza. Police telling me this morning that at this point they don't have a complete count of how many stores have been looted and have also been in contact with Gary Mosby from the city fire department. He is indicating that firefighters who have been responding to multiple or several fire calls last night into this morning don't have an exact number there yet either. Generally speaking, police sources telling us that authorities are concerned that some of those involved in the unrest locally are coordinating the vandalism and destruction and are not part of the peaceful protests that have been organized in our area. For now, live in West St. Louis at the Powers Insurance Bureau, Chris Renier, Fox News.